Gdale. Just got around to completing the paintwork on these. I've just got bases to do. Uh, and I've got to order some flags. If I can get find someone that does South of Essex flags, then yeah, I will be doing South Essex. But I don't know if uh, Flags of War is or I haven't checked the website, but I need to order a load of flags at a minute anyway. Anyway, I'm waddling on. Um, so I'll bring a couple up for you to look at. Uh, that guy got a metal head because there was a spare one in the command pack. Um, I guess he's normally the, the sapper. But they don't give you a sapper model anymore. Spin around. So this is my first peninsula unit that I've done. Uh, I'm going to do four of them. So I've got a brigade. Four battalions or regiments, whatever you want to call them. So I've got a brigade of them. Um, just the same, different really. Uh, so the butternut kind of colour I've used there is the same one I use on my uh, American Civil War Rebs. Um, there's already an explanation of what recipe I use for that somewhere out there. Uh, I think the reason that most of us paint the 100 day campaign colours, the greys, is just because they're a lot easier to paint. Um, by, by the end of just these 24 I was getting a little bit tired of painting white. So I guess that's why we, uh, we go with the grey. So let's come on stand. I've done the drum ring reverse colours. Yellow up. Oh, that's what some, I wanted some advice on. Uh, on these, I've done like all the tail bits and that yellow as well as the colours and cuffs. Are they supposed to be white? I do quite like them in yellow, but so someone can answer that. Interested to know. Uh, I've just done a couple in different coloured trousers. I was going to paint some patches on the knees and stuff like that. Uh, I might still do it on some of them before I do the basing. Uh, we'll see. And the very last one, the Light Company. So they've got green plumes. So that's them. Uh, so I'm just going to bring these forward. And leave them there. Just want to read out some comments because uh, I haven't done it for a while. I've been meaning to do it. Uh, so anyway, that's my um, my peninsula first peninsula unit. Warlord games they are, all very nice they are too. So anyway, comments. So from Idic Beer, uh, nice work, mate. So cheers, Nick. Uh, not, uh, peninsula painting projects. Nice update, mate. Where you get the multicolored fluff for the flowers? Would love to make my own. Uh, so I've uh, I've already answered that. Uh, it's a company called WW S War World. Uh, you just get it off them. When you look on eBay, you can get the tufts on there. The Enigmatic Gamer, nice update, mate. And it looks like the Vistula Legion are going to be ready quite soon. Uh, are you still intending to go to Partizan? I've counted about 27 demo games due to be there. Uh, I'm, I am actually hoping to go now. Um, yeah, fingers crossed I'm going to be there. Um, we've had a little bit of chat on it, but yeah, I should be there. Uh, bon Kettering, nice one, Leon. Cheers, Fraser, mate. Uh, Pancake Painy Pain. Uh, great stuff, mate. Cheers, Nathan. Uh, the British Jurassic Jackets look awesome. That's from the English Wargamer. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Reese Lewis Jones. Oh, ooh, I'll have to give that yellow ochre a crack when I do some British Portuguese. I've stayed clear from yellow so far. Thanks for the update. Yeah, no problem. It can be a problem to paint. Um, more about that in a minute. Uh, nice update, Mario. Regards, Gav. Cheers, Gav. Uh, that's Gavin Boo, uh, Victor C. Sinner, nice work Leon, cheers mate, Mary Hinge, looking good, yellow cuffs, does that mean the South Essex are going to be making an appearance soon? 
But yeah, hopefully, mate, if I can get if I can get the colours for him, I, I will do it. But as I said, I don't know if flags will do. Um, brush quill looking good there, matey. Love the brightness of the red. Going for the yellow cuffs, eh? Any particular reason, fictional or real, lol? Uh, yeah, I've already answered that one, mate. So yeah, hopefully. Uh, so, P. Beckers. Uh, hey Leon, at 2.15 mark of your video, you show a figure with brown trousers. What colour is that? Looks like a good base for the Confederate button-up. Uh, so, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a link to that video, mate. So, thank you. Uh, Wargaming with Gary. My, my fellow co-conspirator in the reading of the comments. Uh, lovely work, Leon. Really taking shape. Cheers, Gary. Thank you, Gary, mate. Nice one. Nice to hear from you, as always. Uh... Lee Hughes, looking good. I'm struggling for time at the moment. Frustrating. I know what you mean, Lee. I am I'm just feel like I'm constantly at work at the minute. So the, the, these are taking me so long. It's ridiculous. Uh, great stuff, mate. Nice start on the Brits and Poles. Uh, it's Joshua Swan. Thank you, buddy. Walkabout Games. Great vid, Leon. Thank you, mate. Uh, MGH1736. Coming along nicely. Looking forward to seeing the finished units. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're almost finished. I've just got to base them. But thanks, mate. Zippy Zool. Nice update, buddy. I need to make my own tusk, but getting the box out is a nightmare, especially in a one-bedroom flat. Need to buy the pack to make the flowers. Uh, yeah, I'm totally with you there. It goes absolutely everywhere the flock when you start making your own tusks. You, you're cleaning flock up for weeks and weeks afterwards. It's a nightmare. But... It's quite fun to do apart from that, as long as you don't zap yourself. Uh, Kevin Gallagher. Uh, hello there. Great channel. How do you paint yellow or orange, Leon? Um, yeah, so I've explained. I've, I've messaged Kevin back, and obviously I've told you, mate, out what, what recipes I use. But what I am going to do, because this question comes up quite a lot. So I've got a couple of different recipes that I use for doing yellow. Um and I, I think I'm going to do a video because I won't have anything else painted next week. So next week I will do um, a video on the recipes that I use for yellow and what works for me. I'm not saying it's a be all and end all by any stretch of imagination. I'm not a pro painter or an expert. It's just tips that I picked up over the years of hobbying. Uh, so yeah, I'll share that in my next video, hopefully. Uh, basic miniature painting. Great update, mate. Thanks, mate. Nice one. Uh, I think you're painting some British napoleonics as well so uh we're all we're all uh we're all doing it together and uh and i don't think kent from kent's paint shack commented on that one but uh he's just doing some british hanoverians and some more british coming up as well i think so keep an eye out for them uh yeah so if you want to find out more about any of the people that are making comments and their channels just have a look through uh my comments on my videos click on the person it takes you straight to their channel uh, and there's some really good channels there, so well worth checking out. Thank you everyone for watching this one, if you stay with me this long. Um, as I say, I will probably do the the yellow tutorial. I don't know if I call it a tutorial, but how I paint yellow anyway, and what recipes I use, and what works for me. Nothing more to say on this one? Catch you all soon. Hope your, all your projects going well. Bye for now, guys.